Hello and welcome to Thayak 18. I am Muhammad Adlan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next part of this series is about filtering multiple values in a dynamic way in Power Query. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Now let's get started. Again now I am into Power Query editor with the same setup thing. Now let's assume an example of this one. You have this table A, B, C and D and now the business requirement is you need to mark A and B as yes and C and D as no here. So in that case, so in this case what we have seen last time we are going to use list.contains function which we are passing inside to that A and C and it is showing us the value. Now the business asks you to make it dynamic way because today they will say A and B and tomorrow they will say as C and D. So the requirement will get changed. So in that case what you need to do is either you can create an excel file on the SharePoint or somewhere else they can modify those data or they can also connect to a SQL server backend where they want to change the data how they need. So by assuming that I am just creating a table here, a query here, right click here and just for this demo purpose I am adding a blank query, new query and then the blank query and here equal to open bracket I am going to pass a static value here but in your case you can also use connecting it from your database backend. So you have this list here and I am going to convert it into a table. That's it. So now you have this table. So now we are what we are assuming is here this query 1 is actually coming from the source as is and this query 4 is also coming from the source itself. So the advantage of this one is the user can change the value at any point of time whenever they need. So now we need to make this happen right. So let me delete these two columns here to avoid confusion. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to click on home and then click on merge queries. And here you will get the list of columns here, uh, values here and also if you click here and go to query 4 and select this one, it will give you the message here. This is the query 1, this is the column and query 4, this is the column and two of the four values have matched here and click on OK now. So this will open up this one. And from here, if you click on this arrow, let me untick this one and I need this column one from here. So click on OK, then this will give as A and B here, right? So this is the cool thing. So after that, what you can do is we can create a additional column here, like add column and then add custom column. If this value is equal to this value, you can do that then it should be y else it should be n so let me zoom this here if letter is equal to column 1 then it is y or else it is n and click on ok so this again gives us the same value now if i go back to this query 4 the business requirement gets changed here and now they want to say it should be c and d just for an example so you don't need to change anything in the data, anything in the Power BI file, you just need to change in the data and when you refresh the Power BI file, it will also automatically refresh the data in this file itself. To see now, you can see C and D, it's showing up here and for this it's showing up Y here and now it is NN for A and B here. So this is a kind of way which you can do this in Power Query in a dynamic way if you want to filter it out something as uh, multiple values in Power Query. So not only like this one, if I cancel this one and you have this right, if I just click here and remove the blanks value here, null values, click on OK. So right now you can see C and D values from this one and if I go back to this one and again change it to A and B here. So A and B change here, if I come back to query 1, now you can see only A and B, C and D is not there. So this is good right so whenever they want to change the business any kind of data in the back end it will also reflect it here automatically. So this is the second part of this one whether you can filter it out multiple values dynamically in Power Query. If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet 
just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.